this week I am switching out my freshly picked classic diaper bag for the mini bag. Um, so I decided that I would just take you guys along for the ride so that you can see um, how much will actually fit into a mini bag and also what I do carry in my diaper bag for two kids. Uh, Cece is going to be one in a couple of days and Sophia is three. So I have just gotten to where I don't need as much stuff and that is why I'm, I'm downsizing into the mini. So I've had the mini and I used it when Sophia got to be about a year old and then after I had Cece I went back to the classic because obviously I needed to carry more stuff again. Uh, so I have used this diaper bag for Let's see, so I've used this diaper bag. I used it for about six months with Sophia, and then, um, so I've used it for about a year and six months. So it's gotten its time in. And let me tell you, it still looks really good. Like it's really doesn't look like it's worn at all. The only place that you can kind of tell is like right here when you first open it, but you can clean all of the material, so that's, like an easy fix. It's not a big deal. Um, what the heck? One of Sophia's rubber bands. <laughs> so that's not a big deal. You can just wipe it clean and keep on going. So this is the inside. Let me see if we can get it. So it has two pockets in the front and then it has a insulated pocket on the side for bottles or whatever you might want. Um, and then I have another one here and then it has a bigger pocket back here for, um, if you wanted to, I actually, if I take my computer anywhere, it, cause it is kind of padded. So I'll put it back there. If I take my computer, it's a small little MacBook, So it fits in there pretty well and it's padded. So I don't feel like super crazy about it anyway. And then it has a zipper pocket back here, it has a pocket up front and then two pockets on the side. And then it does have this pocket on the very back for a uh, changing pad or uh, I don't know what you might use. So anyways, I'm gonna just go ahead and take everything out. Um, so Sophia is potty trained, but she, she'll have an accident every now and then. So we got extra pair of change of clothes for her or extra change of clothes for her. There we go. Uh, some hair stuff for Sophia's curly, crazy hair. In the insulated pocket, I usually just keep a couple of snacks. I have a couple diapers and wipes. And I have diaper changing stuff. And then some sunblock. And then really that's about all that I have in here. And that's kind of why I'm switching. I have a night light. I always carry the night light for some reason. And I do use it when we travel. I like to have a night light in the room just in case there isn't one already there. And so yeah, that's all there. And then a full-size bottle of hand sanitizer. Uh, I have a couple things maybe up front. Yeah, just a couple personal belongings, like just a pin, a phone charger box thing, and a hair clip. And then I'll usually put my, yep, my mask and my phone in this pocket. So, and then I have this little guy which is really convenient if you have a kid that takes a pacifier. Um, this thing is super nice with all the germs these days. It's a passy pacifier sanitizer. Super cool. Um, I lost the top. I don't know what happened to it. Anyways, um, so that, there it is. That's the full size. Packing it into the mini. This is the inside of the mini empty. So. It only has one bigger pocket in the front. It has one pocket in the back and then two smaller pockets on the sides. So it's about the same. Still has those same ones and then it does not have a pocket in the back like the big one does. So those are those. are those. So here is my night light. I'll just stick that in there so I have it. All right, two diapers and a and the wipes. And our snacks, throw those in the side pocket. Um, I'm actually gonna end up taking this a block out because it is winter and we don't really need some block right now. Um, our hair, hair stuff we'll put in the other pocket. 
And then diaper changing stuff we'll put right here. Hand sanitizer, aha, still fits. And then change of clothes. Awesome. Oh yeah, see? I knew I was ready for this. All right, and then I got my mask in the other pocket. And then let's zip that bad boy up. Heck yeah, that is nice. So one thing about the bags that I have never used is the little buttons, I don't know. I, I just don't take the time to do that ever. <laughs> Which it probably does look better, you know, actually like when it's done like that, but I just don't. And then this, I actually usually put it here so that it's nice and convenient. So when we're out, I can use it, not have to dig through the bag. So there it is. Oh, my couple little personal things here. You notice I don't have a wallet um, that's on my phone, the back of my phone. So that's always with me. Voila! There it is. So that is what I typically carry for the two girls. Um, like I said, Cece's almost one and Sophia's three. So we still need some stuff and every now and then I'll throw some other random things in there depending on where we're going. But for the most part, this is what I carry um, on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So if you are looking into getting a nice new diaper bag, I would definitely recommend these. They will last you for quite some time. It's not going to wear out and they're going to look nice. They look very nice. Now, I did have several diaper bags before these and I just was disappointed. I was very disappointed in the other ones and that's why I finally ended up spending the money on um, getting this one, which actually the, one of the other ones that I bought was about the same price. It wasn't much cheaper and it was so heavy that it was just not a practical um, diaper bag to be like it was heavy by itself before loading it up with anything in it. It was heavy and it's just impossible to, <laughs> to be lugging that around and your kid like it was it was not it was not good. So make sure that you pay attention to the weight of the diaper bag, not just how cute it is. Cause like I said, it was super cute, but it was just not, it was so heavy that I just could not use it. It was supposed to be a convertible so that you could do the backpack and everything. But even the backpack like straps, the way that it rigged up, it, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It, it was awkward. It wasn't comfortable wearing. And with these, you're gonna get that. It's gonna be comfortable while you're wearing it. And the other nice thing about the minis is that you can always have your kids use them as well once they get a little bit older. Like Sophia can use it if she goes somewhere. Yeah. So if you are going to uh, look, are you if you are looking for a good diaper bag, they are definitely someone you should check out and see what you think. And let me know if you have ever purchased anything from them and what you think about their products. I would love to hear from all of you. All right, so make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.